guys, in the last episode, we implemented our last red at timestamp so that if a user types a message in a channel and you go visit it, you can see the red bar that displays the most recent messages. Now we wanna actually propagate that across to the other browser whenever I type a message in here. If you are part of that channel, but you aren't actively looking at it. So we wanna go through and basically update our sidebar so that our HTML here for each of the channels in your sidebar can be displayed in bold whenever you see a new message uh, come across. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to add a um, new uh, stimulus controller and action cable channel to actually handle these unread messages. So what we're gonna do is go into our channels controller and we'll create app JavaScript controllers unreads controller.js and we'll paste this in here and we can get rid of most of these right here. So we still want to create an action cable subscription but we want to call the unreads channel and then we want to bind on um, those same methods. We don't need to do any of the scrolling um, and we don't even really need our static targets anymore because we can go into our sidebar and make the channel um, set up on this link item. So if we say data controller on reds, we can simply do that and that will set us up so that we can access that um, in our JavaScript. So we could simply say this.element.classList.add font weight bold anytime we receive a message on this channel. So what we can do is we can send a message like normal and then in our back end we can create a new action cable channel that will broadcast over the unreads channel that we've defined here in our JavaScript. And any message that we receive here, we can tell it that that channel should now be bold. And we're gonna keep track of the channel ID by passing it in as a parameter when we subscribe to the unreads channel. So for each one of the channels in the sidebar, we will create a new uh, WebSocket connection for that. Or not or WebSocket connection, but inside of our WebSocket connection, we'll subscribe to that channel for each one of those individually. And that way we can keep them separated. So that's going to be a nice way of handling things. Um, and we can go into our channels. We can grab the existing channel and just add a new one on reds channel.rb, paste this into that file and we'll change the name to unreads channel. And just like we did before by loading up the channel, we wanna grab that uh, here as well. So we're going to grab channel user and stream on that channel. And then we don't need to call anything from the client side, so we'll have no methods other than unsubscribed. And then in our messages controller, we can go and broadcast to the channel, but on the unreads channel. So for the unreads channel, we don't need to send the message over. Um, we can just keep this as minimal as possible. We just need to let it know that there is a new message in that channel. And so we can actually pass over an empty hash and just send a ping over more or less without any data. So this is gonna be very, very minimal. And we can send that over to the browser so that it can be notified of that new message. So then from here, we can go into our sidebar one more time and add the unreads ID with the channel ID in it. And that's going to make sure that this is um, aware of which channel it's subscribing to. So then our JavaScript is also super duper minimal. We don't even have any logic in here. Whenever we see, receive a message, we just know that this is going to make that channel as bold. So if we hop over to our browsers, we can refresh the page in both of these and if we type a message on the one side, we'll see that it bolds the channel name on the other side. Now this is really nice. We haven't combined any of the logic 
of our channel controller with the unreads controller because what we've done is kind of set these up as separate ones. We have the channel controller for the active channel that you're looking at and subscribe to and watching the messages in real time. And our unreads controller is for an inactive channel. It's for channels that you were um, joined as a member of, but you aren't actually reading those right now. So by doing this, we can connect those and separate out all of the logic um, while we're still connected at the same time. So this makes the code for this extremely simple and easy to manage. You can add features for the inactive channels and you can add features for the active channels completely separate and that is all very manageable that way. Um, what I've done in the past is actually put these together and it gets to be pretty tricky because you need to have conditionals for the different types of messages you receive and so on. And it just makes things messy. You're bleeding those concepts together of active and inactive channels. And it's nice to just be able to separate those. You might even want to rename these controllers to active channel controller and inactive channel controller. Um, it's up to you. I named them as I was going, just kind of around the features, but it might be something that you want to rename to make more descriptive for um, your purposes. So that is it for this episode. We're gonna be talking about a very similar concept in the next one where we're gonna handle um, mentions. So you'll be able to type a user's name in the message and we will notify them with the browser notification. Um, so that will be our next episode. We're gonna be building a very similar concept here um, to that where we can send notifications to users when they're mentioned. So that is it for this episode, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.